Hi, um, I'm going to show you how to set up a Photoshop document ready for printing on um, our DTG printer. Um, it's really easy to do and once you've um, done it once you can just save that file as a template and uh, just keep on plowing through and just um, keep on making more t-shirts. So um, what we're going to do is to go to file, we're going to create a new file um, I'm going to call this one um, spell make more t um, temp. There we go. Um, uh, this one's already been preset up, but you can see here that um, we have 35 centimeters width, 45 centimeters height, and this is very important that the, th the resolution of the document is 300 DPI, so that's pixels per inch. Um, the maximum printable area um, of a DTG is 35 centimeters. The maximum height is 45 centimeters. That doesn't mean that every time you create a design, you um, want to use the extremities of that for the printing area, but those are your boundaries. So um, the next step is to make sure that you are designing in CMYK color. Um, your options are um, RGB, grayscale, etc. But CMYK will give you the truest color um, when it comes to print. Um, you can design in RGB, but the um, and the printer will convert that to CMYK. But sometimes, particularly the reds, oranges, yellows, the colours aren't as true as um, they were when you were designing them. So it's um, it's good to design in CMYK. Um, the next important step is to make sure that your document is transparent. Uh, the background is, is transparent. Um, this is because um, if you leave the the whole area full of colour then the printer will print that colour as well. Now obviously if you want an entire block um, of colour at that exact size then that's fine but um, it's still probably appropriate to lay that background colour down later. So anyway, um, this is our document ready so I'm going to press OK um, and here it is. This is already quite hefty, it's probably already about 30 meg just being what it is. Um, we're going to make that a bit bigger so I'm going to go back to my design which is here with my ghosts and I'm just going to literally um, lift that and drop it onto here. Now I've already made this roughly the right size for um, how I want it to be so it doesn't matter where I place it on here really but I kind of pretend that it is a t-shirt um, so I'm going to have it central and near the top so it's kind of chest height roughly and just drop it there. Now you see that I've got two layers here one is the original background layer which I don't want, so I'm going to delete that. By the time you finish your document, you should only have one layer, and everything on that layer should be rasterized. Um, for those that don't know, I'll show you what that means. Um, this isn't part of the design, but let me show you um, how to rasterize type. So I'm just going to write under here, uh, ghosties. There you go. So that's created a new layer, which you can see here. Um, and that layer currently is type, so I want that to be a bitmap. I'm just going to center it up roughly. There we go, ghosties. Um, I'm then going to control click or right click on this layer here, and I'm going to go here and rasterize this type. So that's now turned that type into a bitmap, um, which means that. Um, it's going to print nicer and the printer will understand that it's a bitmap rather than trying to do anything clever with it. So now I've got these two layers, I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to right click or control click again and I am going to merge these down like this. So now I'm back to having one layer. Okay, so that is ready to go. Um, all I need to do, because currently this is a Photoshop document, it's a PSD. Um, we need it as a TIFF, so if you go File, Save As, there you go, it's already selected as a TIFF for me, um, if not then just select TIFF for yourself, um, and we're going to call this one, Coasties, there we go, um, so that's Coasties.TIFF, it's a TIFF, keep the layers selected, that's fine, make sure you embed the colour profile, um, That's I think that's pre-selected anyway, should be fine. Uh, we're going to save that. It's now going to ask me about compression. I don't want to compress anything. I want to keep it a big, hefty, fat document. That's fine. The one thing I am 
concerned with is making sure that I save that transparency. So that means that the transparent background will remain transparent and it won't shove a white layer over it, which is what um, uh, quite often it will try and do. So make sure that's checked there. Um, I'm going to press OK. It's going to give me this little thing saying it's going to increase the file size. That's all fine with me. Um, quite often these things will come in between 30 and, and even 150 meg, depending on the amount of artwork. So um, I'm going to OK that, and that's saved. Um, and it's ready to go to the printer. Um, so really the next step is to, when you're happy with that, send us the artwork, um, and uh, we'll just check it to make sure that it's OK for printing. Um, there are certain little things like um, the DTG printer doesn't necessarily like um, kind of complex, um, really complex gradients and so forth. It's normally fine. It doesn't really like things like kind of um, lens flares or kind of specular highlighting or anything like that. But, um, you know, generally, if it's kind of, um, you know, uh, it could be complex artwork that doesn't like um, kind of lights or highlights too much. So just bear that in mind um, when you're designing. And then, yeah, just send it over and we will get back to you and, and tell you whether we're happy to print or not. Okay, thanks. Bye.